Yo guys, Chris here, back another video, and today I'm doing 10 cars you need to own in Forza Horizon 3. Now, Don Juan Song did a video on this. This is kind of a spin off of that, and I don't know if I used all the cars he did, but I'm going to be giving you the cars and how much they cost. So, yeah, there you go the Super Impreza, 31,000. This is the uh, WRX version. This 2008, this car is amazing. You need to own this. It is not expensive. They said it's 31,000 credits, and uh, the rally capability of this car is just amazing night like, I spent like 10k I think on upgrades for this all I did was uh, make some suspension upgrades and I put on I think I think I changed the tires a little bit uh, and then slapped a little rally tune on here and now this thing is amazing you see it drifts good and obviously because it's a rally car the wing obviously uh, makes it a little bit better at rally too and it's amazing as well all right Toyota Supra Horizon Edition not a very expensive either, uh, 80k or whatever. Uh, this thing is a drifting beast. You can literally do anything with this car. I'm not a good drifter, but uh, just keep that in mind. But you can do anything with this car. I mean, you can make a drag build if you'd like to. You can make a drift build. You can make a stance build. Uh, I also made the design of this car too. It's just with the 2JZ engine, the reason this car you need to own is because the 2JZ engine, right? Uh, in line 6, if you did not know, I'm sure you know what a 2JZ is. Uh, but yeah, it's just amazing. You have to have it. Ferrari 458 Special, 340k. It's my favorite Ferrari, I'll say. Uh, it's not the only Ferrari that made this list. Uh, but this car, uh, I have a track tune on it right now, so it's why you're seeing a little bit of understeer there, because uh, it's more for a slower track. But this thing reaches great top speeds. Um, it's a really good-looking car. Uh, it's my, I think it's my. After the Inventador, this is my first ever, or second ever supercar, as you see. I don't know how I dodged that. This car is very aerodynamic and elusive. Uh, so yeah, that is the Ferrari 458 Special. Uh, my favorite Ferrari, and it was my first Ferrari. Next one here, Lancer Stratos F, uh, HF Group 4. Uh, another expensive car, but this is another rally car. This is better in Blizzard Mountain. I was just too lazy to actually go record in Blizzard Mountain. Uh, but... This thing is crazy in Blizzard Mountain, and it's because it's fast, it can drift, and therefore I look of it. I love the uh, the bumper with the wing, the mud flaps, the exhaust, everything about this car I just love. And it's just a car you need to own. Even if you're not a rally person, this thing can reach up to 200 miles per hour. Uh, so definitely a car you need to try out, in my opinion. It's the best rally car. So yeah, it can do that too. Uh, Audi Sport Quattro, 375,000 credits. Now this is the other rally car, it's the one with the big wing, Black Panther would like this one. Um, this one is better on the street than an off-road, because uh, it's low obviously, it's a rally monster, but uh, surprisingly, this thing's actually good at the Goliath, uh, nothing amazing obviously, but it has great handling for the rally car, it can drift good too. And I believe it can reach 180. Um, I don't know what other engine you could put in it, but I just love the sound of this car too. It's just ear blistering uh, how loud this thing is. So we're halfway through the list here. Next up, the Nissan 240SX, 25,000. Now this one's obvious as well. Uh, with this car, you can make it a stance car, you can make it a drift car, you can make it a track car. And the fact that it starts off at a low class too, is just even better it's again the engine is special um, and everything about this car the whole look the pop-up headlights it's just a fan favorite car if you don't have this in your garage I don't know what you're doing especially since it's cheap as well so yeah I just really love this car and uh, this only has 200 horsepower so it's not drifting great uh, but yeah that's just put that together for the video all right next up here the RX 7 97 version that's the FD 35,000 credits. This one is special because of the rotary. Just, just listen to it. Hear that there? I got it all up to max RPM I could do so you can hear the full range of the engine. It's amazing. Got the rotary FD. It looks great with the Rocket Money kit. I don't have it on right now, but it still is good. Uh, keep the rotary in it, please. Do not LS swap it, please. Just, just keep the rotary in it. Thank you later. Uh, but yeah, you have to have this car in your garage. Um, a lot of people sell the RX-7, 
for uh, crazy amounts of money because it's a car you have to earn from a certain race. Uh, but if you can't, then just get the FC. But the FD is really special. And that's why it costs so much because uh, of what this is. Next up, the Murcia Lago, 500,000 credits. This is my favorite car to use in the mini games at the airport because this thing has crazy top speed, crazy handling because of the big wing, and it actually performs really good off-road. Don't ask me why, but it's my go-to car for uh, the airport because of the off-road ability of it, which is kind of weird. I mean, it <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's, it sounds good. Top speed, obviously, to see fourth gear, uh, fifth gear actually just going. No, <coughs> is that fifth? Yeah, it is fifth at 100 miles an hour, or 200 at least. Uh, so yeah, crazy aerodynamics and all that too, and I think it looks good as well. It's expensive, but definitely make this as your Lamborghini purchase and not the like Reventon or something. Next up, the Noble M600, 450,000 credits. This is my number one sounding car, I think. Uh, I mean, it, it just sounds cool. I just like how it's, uh, how deep the sound is of this car. It's not a it's not a high pitch or anything, but I mean, it's a cool uh, sound to the car. I have a weird tune on it right now. It's like impossible to handle. Um, so yeah, don't mind that, but yeah, just listen to what it sounds like. There you go, I left at the front line a little bit for you guys. <laughs> so this car has a really good top speed, as you can see, 218. Uh, this isn't stock, but it doesn't have much on it. Next up, Ferrari 599XX, 1 million credits. Now this was a, uh, was thought car, I believe it was? Uh, either, otherwise, um, it's amazing. The looks of this is amazing as well you look at the uh, interior view which i should be switching here soon after you report this yeah there you go it looks cool it's got the cool sticker up there on the top as well sounds good it goes really fast and it corners well too as you can see so definitely have to have this car it does cost a million but if you had to make a ferrari purchase i would say it'd be this one uh so yeah that has been 10 cars you must own in Forza. Once again, this idea was Don Joe and Sonic, but this is kind of a spinoff to it. I think you might have had like one or two cars in here. I don't know. I watched that video like three months ago. Uh, anyways, if you guys did enjoy this, make sure you leave a like. And if you want me to do like a top 10 drift cars you need to own or something like that, just let me know. Until the end, see you guys next time, and peace.